TJ Gibson along with Kevin Lee. We are at E3 2019 and we stopped by to take a look at some retro games, specifically the My Arcade Retro Champ. Uh, Kevin, this thing's pretty cool. I noticed you got Strider in it, NES game. What do you think? It's pretty cool. I mean, it's like kind of like the Game Gear for Nintendo that never happened. We'll start Nintendo games just like your old NES, except it's portable. It's got about a three to five hour battery life, has a seven inch screen, um, LCD, but not CRT, unfortunately. Yeah, we can start this game or we can just like pop it out, take this out. Whoops. It sounds nice and rigid. I hope so. <laughs> Quality, durable product. So now we're going to throw in this Famicom game, which according to Google Lens, translates to aluminum kung fu. Now we're going to get a Japanese Famicom experience that we never had in the U.S. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what do you seem to like better? What do you have a uh, passion for? Do you like the old school NES games or are you into that 16-bit yeah, era? Definitely more into old school um, retro gaming. As, as close to the original as you can get, you know, with the original ROMs and the original cartridges, things like that. All right, so the console itself, pretty cool, but if you want the old school handheld controller feeling, uh, they got a gamepad here. Talk to us a little bit about this. Yeah, this is a super gamepad. It's basically a super NES pad, just miniaturized and you know, extra pair of triggers. But uh, it connects wirelessly here, and then you could also put this thing on kickstand mode. Alternatively, you could even plug in an HDMI cable. There's one on the back. So you plug that into any TV that you want and play it, you know, just like a regular NES. Nice, yeah, it, it does it does both. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. So some of the other things that we got over here as well. Old school Contra as well as Super C, I believe, in one of these uh, that's here. Uh, yeah, so those were uh, those are pretty popular. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about those? Yeah, this is um, this one's Contra and Super Contra, packed into like a little tiny handheld. And this one's the, the mini arcade version, so you go back to your old school arcade days and play it like it was there. Um, so actually, when you buy two of these together, or two of these, two of each, you connect them through a link cable, so it's got to be handheld to handheld or arcade to hand arcade, but still you get to play two player, just like the old game. The way it was meant to be played. Yes, exactly. That's pretty solid. They got a couple other ones as well here too. We'll uh, try to showcase these. A little bit of Space Invaders. Base is loaded. Always played that one and dug it. And one of my favorite, also required to play as two players. You need to beat Bubble Bobble with two players yes. in order to get the happy ending that Tori it will be a terrible, sad ending without doing that. So, so that's all pretty cool. When are most of these things coming out? Yeah, most of these things are coming out Q4, but uh, this one, this one in particular, will be releasing today. Do you want to say it? Do I want to say it? Soon. Soon, they said, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Soon. Should be today. Hopefully be today. today. Anyway, um, you can check out everything at MyArcadeGaming.com. Awesome. Well, that's a quick look. If you are a retro nostalgia fan like I am, you want to check this out. And for more on E3 2019, keep it locked right here. Taijin.